All good to go? All good to go, Carl. Okay, no problem. Right, how, how did you find the, um, the, the session yesterday? Yeah, I thought it was really good. Um, it's actually the first time that I've actually had someone record me. Yeah. Um, and that was quite insightful. Um, I did actually feel, you know, a bit of pressure um, doing it, but it wasn't to the point where it was absolutely crippling. I think, you know, you helped quite a lot uh, when, when I was actually with you, uh, giving words of encouragement, but also, um, you know, in between sets as well. I think it's, it's quite important for a coach to just manage potentially a student's vibe because it can obviously go up and down with, with a lot of things. So all in all, I did actually find it quite interesting. Um, uh, and it was a completely different kind of experience in terms of what I've experienced before. Yeah, we well, did a, a really good job with it. I mean, it's not easy having someone um, uh, film you when you've got the added pressure on it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, bear in mind, most people, whenever they've thought about the idea of having their approaches filmed, it's usually because it's a coach Okay. That's having it done, sure. rather than, than them and, okay, and right. wondering like, oh well, am I going to be as good as a coach? Yeah. You know, what's the day going to be like? Am I yeah. going to get good yeah. results? Is it going to be bad results? Um, you know, and, and people tend to sort of spiral, I think, a, a little bit with that. But I think overall, I think you did a really good job. Thank you. Um, and, and I 100% sympathise with the added pressure of having the camera on. Yes. You. So, you know, all in all, and in fact, even with the weather, I mean, the weather was absolutely abysmal yesterday, <laughs> it was, but yeah, it, yeah. Did, it did at least get better in the evening or in the afternoon, Towards so you. no, fair play to you for being, again, brave enough to be filmed with the camera, um, and uh, even considering what the weather conditions were like yesterday, um, I still think, yeah, you did a really, really good job with that. Thanks for that. Now, off the camera, you asked me about how many approaches do you reckon yes. you did? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to take a guess how I many you reckon? I thought it was a bit of a blur, to be perfectly honest, but I would estimate around 12 approaches. Uh, yeah, it, was, it was more than that. More than that, okay. More than that. Do you want to have one more guess before I, I tell you? 14, 15? A bit more, so it was 18. Wow. So you did, you did 18 approaches. It doesn't seem like 18. No, no. So you did 18 wow. approaches in uh, the space of the two hours, which yes. is really, really good uh, lot, yeah, as well. Yeah. I usually kind of uh, would say like the average for people will be around 10 and 20 in, 10 and 20, okay. in two hours. Sure. You know, give or take, depending on the kind of conversations yeah, of that course. you would have. Um, obviously, if someone's having like a full-blown 10-minute conversation, then you're not going to get anywhere close of to, course, yeah. to 20 in, yeah, in yeah. that time. So, yeah. no, I thought that was um, a good number for you to yeah. actually go on. Definitely was. Um, and what was good as well, you did have a variation of experiences with the approaches, which of course we're going to go over um, anyway, so you can see for the first time what it's like watching you doing your own approaches. It'll be interesting. Yeah. Uh, now, I also took notes uh, as well oh, great. Um, going through the videos. Now, we're not going to go through all 18. Yeah, yeah, I understand Because you, uh, you had some approaches where nothing happened or you went to go for it and then you changed your mind. And then you, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's happened. That happened it. a few times. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so in total, we're going to go through 10. I'm sure I counted 10. Yep. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. Um, so we'll go through them and guys will be able to watch this uh, as well as we're going yeah, through. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and what I think is going to be the easiest structure for this is I'm going to let you watch the infield. Yeah. Um, or I'm going to let you watch your infield, uh, to be more specific. <laughs> and, then, um, and then after that, uh, we'll, we'll discuss it. Yeah, uh, that's Each fine. one. Now, the, the infields themselves are, are, are really quite short. I mean, you had a lot that were either a minute or under. Yeah. Um, and then I think there was two, three of them that were a good couple of minutes long. Yeah, sure. Um, and, and definitely those would be the ones that we'll be able to have a much bigger conversation with. Um, so, yeah, so definitely this won't be like hours upon hours. No, no, that's fine. I understand through, that. I understand that. Um, which is good. But I certainly saw a lot of similarities with, um, with each of your approaches. Okay. So what we'll do is, we'll, we'll just, just to get the ball rolling, yep. um, I'm going to just click on uh, this one, and 8542, yep, so this is the first one. Uh, I will give you the headphones, yep. so you, you can too. have a listen, and uh, enjoy, enjoy bliss. <laughs> your first in field. I have a bed. Excuse me, 
Hi, hi. Hi. I know this is very cheeky, but I loved your style. Oh, thank you. I thought you looked super cute, you oh, know? That's very sweet of you. I've never seen like a star, like the way you've done Is it a star? Or? Oh, I've just come with my Hindu. Oh, it's a Hindu, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why you've got a very relaxed look about you, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you, you look like the good friend who <laughs> basically helps the bride who's just drunk a bit too much. That's I, what I've been doing all day. Oh, yes. you've been doing that all day? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because you don't seem too tipsy, so I'm a bit surprised, you know? Yeah, you went yeah. to Hindu, everyone typically gets absolutely smashed and you're. Yes, no, that's not really my scene. But that's yeah, not your yeah. scene. Well, thank you. That's that's very sweet of you. It's, no. yeah, I would I wouldn't normally choose to wear a pink fluffy. Oh, it was given to you, yeah. was it? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Now you had that kind of blonde look to you, so I thought maybe. Are uh, you copying Toy Story or something like that? What well, one of those ones? I don't know which one it was. It, it goes for you, so I'm not saying we're the pink one, but maybe maybe change up the colour. I don't know. I think I will. I think I will. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Have a good really day. Kind. Thank you. Okay, I can take the headphones off. Right. What's it like watching yourself? Yeah, it's it's, it's really weird actually watching yourself. <laughs> like. Uh, Sometimes you don't think you sound like that, and you actually do sound like that because you're speaking <laughs> on, on, on camera. Uh, but it was it was a bit unusual. Um, I, I think I did okay in that approach. Um, you know, she was smiling and, and things like that. But I could have definitely kind of carried on. But it's a bit unusual watching yourself. I mean, I think I need to watch. It's surreal, it a few times. isn't it? It's, it is. It's, yeah. You know, I know. Like we said it yesterday. It's 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 very strange when you've got that third person perspective on yourself because you really are having like an out of body experience. Yes, you're, like, you're right. Yeah. You're like, wow, is this how other people see me, or is this how I put myself out there yeah, into yeah, yeah. the uh, the world? Um, and it's it's an eye opening thing for like any guy um, sure. to to do. Um, but what do you think with that? What do you reckon your sticking points? Um, um, I think sticking points, I could have continued the conversation. Uh, so there was uh, an ejection, which I think uh, was a bit premature. Could have asked her, you know, where, where is she from? You know, what's she doing right now? I know she just came from a Hindu. How was the Hindu? You know, just really elaborate on the topic that she's basically given. It's going to in, in more depth. What did you guys do, etc. So I think it was just a premature kind of conversation. Mm. Yeah, so so for me, so I think, so I, I agree. I thought it was, uh, for, and that was your first approach yeah, as well, bear in mind. Yeah. So I always at least give people the benefit of, of the doubt with yeah. that. You're warming up, you're also nervous, you're slightly anxious, you've got a camera on you exactly, as well. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh my God, this is like the first one. But I thought for your first approach, I thought that was actually really good. Oh, thank you. Um, you stopped her, she really loved that that compliment that you said about with the uh, the style um and um and she was quite warm to you yeah um with that so i think the only hiccup really with that was there was a lot of um uh trying to create assumptions uh okay. on stuff so without me actually just watching that that clip again um you in fact actually no you know i will i will watch that again Oh yes, yeah, there you go. That's all I need, literally that split second. Okay. Um, so yeah, so with the assumption stacking, there was a lot of like trying to uh, get it to open up about about certain topics. So you were kind of emphasizing, I think, too much or making guesses too much. Okay, okay. okay. So you said that, oh, you kind of look like the, the friend who looks after okay. the, the bride and, you know, and, yeah. and things. And, and I think it was probably a bit too far-fetched. Okay. I think the very simple thing would have just been like, you know, uh, how was the, the, the Hindu? Yeah. Um, and what did you all get up to? Like, were you the one arranging it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you could have certainly broadened the topic, and it's a lot less stressful. It's like just sure. having a conversation with like a friend. Like, oh, what did you get up to? Absolutely. How did it go? Like, yeah. what, what yeah. was it like? You know. Okay. Um, so I think again, I'll, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt because it was still the first approach. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you definitely don't have to go as try hard um, as, 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 as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be really what uh, what I don't think guys realise is like. Conversation, it's okay for conversations to be super boring and you can ask like the typical questions. Yeah. She's already impressed that you've gone over and started a conversation yes. with her. Yeah, yeah. And you've given her a compliment, which she just loved at, at the loved, start yeah, of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then after that you can kind of like just switch off uh, the uh, the game mode. The game mode um, <laughs> and um, and just be, just literally be sort of just chatting to her, like, yeah, how how was it? Um, like how's the recovery going today what's the plan yeah, to, yeah, yeah. today sort of exactly, thing exactly um, and then even with that kind of like lead into the conversation you don't even have to go into many other topics the, I think a, a very easy transition to going for a phone number with her would have been like well, well look I can see you need a chill day you need a switch off rather than having a good looking guy coming over and talking to you and yeah. she would have like had a giggle like oh yeah, 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 you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
let me take your number and when you've recovered I'd love to take you out sometime. that's a good way of putting it yeah. Yeah. and it, she will either say yes or no with that and if she says no uh, or if, it, if it's a no then it, it's a no, it's a no yeah. but if it's a case that she's like oh I'm not sure then the easy option uh, or the easy kind of like um, caveat you can give to that is by saying like well well look let's, let's, let's chat back and forth and we can kind of take it from there. Yeah. Um, you know, I, 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 I clearly don't want to be, uh, be be bugging you today if you're like on the hangover and you're trying to <laughs> yeah. like like get yourself back to normal. I know okay. whenever I've had like hangovers, oh, you know, I I, need, I don't think properly. Takes I need, a couple like, of days. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you're creating a bit of familiarity with that, okay. Okay. Um, and also just a, a slightly deeper rapport with each other because you're finding some commonality, commonality on yeah. something. Okay. Even if it's as simple as like, oh, well, you've had a hangover, but I know what it's like having a hangover. Sure, sure. You can create a bit of a bond over okay. that. Okay. So I think that would have just been how I would have uh, closed it, rather than I think just towards the end of that, yeah. she wasn't really sure what to respond with. Yeah. And I think also you probably had snookered yourself in like, I don't know where I could probably follow with this by saying, yeah. that, oh, well, she kind of looks like the, the, friend, the friend who looks after the, the bride yeah, 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 and, yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like exactly, that. Exactly. So, um, so that's, that's what I would have I've done um, with that. But I mean, with how you stood there, I didn't really see any problem with it. Again, I'm, I'm pretty lenient on those the, the first approach. Yeah. So I think that was absolutely fine. Um, linguistics, absolutely okay. You've got a very natural, deep voice okay. anyway, yeah. um, which is, is good. Um, but in that, I didn't really spot anything that had me kind of concerned. But yeah, I think just the conversation bit sure. in this. Yeah, the um, content, yeah. Yeah. But again, first approach, sure. give, give you the benefit of the doubt right. with that. Excuse me. Hi. I, I know this is very, very cheeky, but I loved your style. I thought you looked super cute. I, I'm in a bit of a rush, but I, I liked your whole look. Thank you very much. No Thank problem. You. Have a good day, yeah? Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. Okay, thoughts on, on that one? Yeah, that, that was a little bit funny because I'm repeating um, have a good day once she's left. So yeah, <laughs> that's, that's funny to see. I, I didn't realise I did that. I think, um, let me just take the headphones off. I think um, it was just a very short approach. Mm. Um, something I try and do is just get a couple in quickly. Mm. But you know, she was still standing there, so there was no need to just um, prematurely kind of just just eject to say probably start a normal normal conversation essentially. Yeah, uh, she was there. She wasn't running to leave or running running away. So should have just I think continued. Yeah. So and and that was essentially kind of the the note that I put. Um, yeah. And, and I, I know throughout the, the day pretty much your opener was like with the uh, the fashion statement yes um, and it, it's it's good to an extent but okay. I think also it's very easy to fall into um, uh, a level of comfortability with yep. that uh, or have like some kind of comfortability trap okay. where you if you use kind of like um, a line over and over again yes you become desensitised to it but it can also then be very difficult to try and give some very improvish response afterwards. Sure, sure. So like with the fashion statement, I would then be playing devil's advocate. I would say, well, what about her fashion um, stood out that gave you enough of that incentive to want to go and speak yeah, to her? Sure. And that's what she would love to hear. Yeah. Like, what is it about her that you that inclines you or encourages you to go over and say, you know what, I've got to say how much I love your style. Uh, is it that it's different from every other Londoner? So clearly you're not from London. Yeah. Um, is it that um, you've never seen that kind of like style before or fashion yeah. look? Yeah. You know, anything like that. And in fact, um, even then something that you could most certainly uh, test or try, which yeah. could be just a good exercise for you, yeah. is if you are using the fashion opener, yeah. um, Ask her a question that uh, that you're curious about with her fashion, or curious about with that look. Okay. It could be as simple as saying like, like, so who inspired you with that? Okay. That okay. 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 Um, I've never seen that look before. Okay. Um, or you know what? I I've got to ask, where did you get that look from? Where did you get that? And look from? even let's say uh, with the curiosity, if you've actually got an honest question, let's say you've got a friend who 
generally needs a fashion makeover, yeah. um, then you could actually be saying to someone, like, you know what, I, I'm so curious what you've got your style from. Because i got a friend of mine who, terrible fashion, absolutely terrible fashion, and she needs some help. Okay, yeah. You know, yeah, and, right. and I'm just, I, I'm, I just want to pass it on to her. Okay, okay. You know, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. I mean, I'm riffing, but... Yeah, um, I get what you're saying. Some, something as yeah, simple as yeah, that, yeah. it just opens up an opportunity for a conversation yeah. to play out. Now, the thing as well is, even we're talking about fashion in approaching, there is only going to be so far you can probably of go course. with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, because at the end of the day, you, you're stopping her almost to talk about a fashion, which you don't really necessarily want to do. You want, you want to talk to her because you like her, you you're like attracted her, yeah, yeah. to course, her. Yeah. So it's very important, I think, to try and transition the conversation away from fashion as soon as possible. So okay. after you've done the opener, yeah. and, and I really like that you do say like, you know what, and you look really cute, or you, or yeah, you say yeah, something yeah. like that, you, you know, yeah. um, I, really, I really like how you look or something. Yeah. Then moving into uh, like, oh, how's your day going? Or what are you up to today? Or what are you doing in London? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then something like that is great. Because then you can also even throw in a bit of a, a quirky question of like, oh, I bet you're off to... Um, uh, I bet you're going to go shopping for more clothes or, yeah, 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 or like yeah. oh uh, you look like with your style you're probably off to go to a coffee shop somewhere. I'll get you I'll get you, you know, yeah, something very simple nothing yeah. nothing yeah. too crazy um, because definitely in some of the other videos which we'll, we'll go over definitely I think it was I think you'll find when you're doing a lot of assumption stacking yeah. it can be very difficult to try and think of something creative on the spot of course if you haven't actually thought about something before you've got into an approach yes I get you, I get you. Um, yeah. so it's just so it's absolutely fine just to be saying something like, oh how's your day going like, I don't know oh, what are you up to it's interesting yeah, yeah. it's you know it's, it's great because it should open up more as well you can relax into it and actually you will find it very easy to have a conversation with someone okay now then the improv comes in when she has said something that gives you essentially ammunition for a conversation. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, so, but we'll cover that. I'm, I'm probably jumping the gun on, on that because uh, there will be certain things in, in more videos. But does that at least kind of make No, make it, sense it so makes far? sense. It makes sense. I think one of the key things that you've just said is not to stay on to the fashion because that, obviously that's the reason why I'm approaching. It's just an excuse to say hello, but make it specific to her. So you mentioned... Yeah. Um, you know, why is it I liked her? Oh, she, she had very kind of tight leggings on. It looked a bit different, you know, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And then move on away from that. So what are you doing in London? Just just come across as normal as possible, yeah. you know, which yeah. is interesting. So, in fact, even on top of that, so a guy that I worked with um, back in March, yeah. um, uh, he had a very similar circumstance with you. And I said to him exactly the same thing that I said to you. Um, like, if you, once you give him a compliment, ask a curious question. And we saw a girl standing in Trafalgar Square. Uh, sorry, not Trafalgar Square, in Piccadilly Circus. Yep. And uh, I think he used something similar with the fashion. Yeah. But I, when, I, when I was with him, because I said, like, what, right, what do you notice about her that you really like? And he said, oh, I really like her style. I said, all right, well, use that. And to me, she, I, I, I think she kind of looks a little bit Spanish. Yeah. Ask her out of curiosity if she's Spanish. Okay. Say she looks okay. a bit Spanish. Went over... He said that. I said, "Excuse me, really like your, your style. Just curious, like, are you, are you Spanish?" Yeah, yeah. And um, she said no. And then it just suddenly sparked this like ten-minute conversation. Okay. Because suddenly it was it, it made it a very comfortable conversation. And you just asked very simple things as well, like, "Oh, what are you up to today?" And, and all this and that. Yeah. And then at a point, it felt like the conversation was dying down for him. And then he noticed she had a tattoo on her arm. Okay. And he just and he was like ready to eject out of the situation. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as he said that, like, oh, that's a cool tattoo like what is that suddenly that expanded the conversation more ammunition yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and, okay. and it just literally went on for another five minutes and okay. I think he got the number from that as well. okay. so the conversations don't have to be anything crazy you yeah. don't have to do too many assumption stacks and it's absolutely okay to have very normal simplistic conversations and ask very simple questions okay. as well that's good no, to know. nothing that's wrong with that that's good to know because uh, people as well you don't know what state people are in exactly. if, they, if they hang out hung over then it's very difficult to uh, that's going to be very yeah. difficult yeah. <laughs> yeah you know to even like contemplate like like wow that's a really deep philosophical question he's asked me oh my god I'm not, I can't even think she can barely stand right <laughs> yeah you know, and, and that's what can sometimes put people on the spot sure. so simplicity is simplicity. key which I know I said yesterday I know so, which, which is so that, that's how uh, but other than that I thought that was that was really good um, yeah with that so okay pop the headphones on again how am I doing time oh, I've got 10 minutes on that yep. that's good 
So let's do the next one. 